Hello everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree. We're getting close to completing this DLC. I was told to check out a location of the Pillar Pathway Point. So there's a NPC character here, and to just check it out. So I'm going to do that. And then I also wanted to look at the small island and see if there's a way to get over there. Since we, I think that's the only location we haven't been yet, and it's pretty small. I don't know if there's anything major over there, any bosses or anything. We'll go over there and take a look. I have not found a way to get over there yet. Talking about uh, the island right here. It looks like there'd be something here. Oh, I see a little tree here. Maybe that's got something to do with it. I'll check that out after we're done. Looking for what are NPCs supposed to be around here. I mean, I don't see an NPC. Maybe something to do up here? Birds, are they alive? What is? Grave bird bracelets, okay. Maybe we haven't been up here. Oh, look at that tower. I don't think we've been to that tower yet, either. That's the best weapon to use against these birds. Is this location? I'm surprised I haven't looked up here before. During it was near the map to this area. The dark forest. I hate that attack. That didn't do as much damage as I thought it was. Now they're doing damage. Treasure chest. Ancient dragon smithing stone. Hey, not bad. Very sudden of the lands between, all manners of death wash up here, only to be suppressed. I didn't see any NPC though. We'll take a look around.
Okay. Another good way to check is sometimes if you run by an NPC, they'll pop up on your map. Even if you didn't notice them. But, not seeing anyone. path over here. actually seem to lead anywhere though. Be on this side. the dragon statues. Oh yes, yeah, took me to the dragon pit. Pressing pillar. I hope they weren't talking about the one dragon dude, because he pretty finished his story, unless he pops up again. started from. Oh, do we have that cross yet? I don't think we do. And there looks to be a set of grace.
Maybe that's the NPC they're talking about. There's someone here. Carved words coalesce. I've been here, a part of my flesh and my body. What have I forgotten all the crosses yet? Oh, hello there. Are you the tarnished? Lady Letta spoke of you. Another tarnished. Guided here by Mikola the Kind. My name is Teolia. I too am tarnished. And here on kindly Mikola's account. Oh, um, are you not affected? Even with the spell broken? Nope. I'm all good. I'm feeling rather lost. Haunted by memories of St. Trina. Her visage. Her sen. The lore of velvety sleep. I wouldn't the trust St. Trina. You have to die to talk to her. Trina, while knowing that she was the discarded half. The problem is, I, I simply cannot help it. I would sacrifice everything just to gaze upon her. One last time. Okay, I know where she's at. I can purchase stuff? A bunch of poison stuff. Let's see. Poison build up. Might as well. Random powder, I'm pretty sure I got plenty of those. Lily, Atlas Blooms. Toxic Mushrooms. Toxic Mossling, I only got one. By the whole lot. And I got a lot of that. We gotta just buy everything. Tell him St. Trina's whereabouts. Okay. Are, are you certain of this? Is this all a plot to make a mockery of me? You think I got this sword? <laughs> oh heavens, what am I saying? Forgive me. You deserve my deepest gratitude. I will make the journey to the southern coast, as you say. To venture into the depths of the fissure. I will make the journey to the southern coast, as you say. Okay, good luck with that. I guess we'll go visit uh, St. Trina again in a little bit. Let's go check out this island. I don't, I didn't really check out this area that well, as you can see, there's like no sight to grace over here. And if we do go in this area, maybe I can run into, I think around there, around here somewhere, is that last uh, furnace golem. That I haven't beaten yet. Oh, yes, I was also told one other thing. Um, apparently, you can beat the enemies with the yellow eyes in the dark forest. You just have to parry them? I mean, I'm not, I don't have any parrying shields, but we can always equip, equip a parry shield and give it a shot. Just to see. But yeah, other than that, I think after we complete those couple things, we'll go ahead and jump into the DLC, or the final parts of the DLC. Fight the boss. Okay, so we want to head towards that little tree over there. I think I can see from here. I wonder if it's, another, if it's another jail over there. I'm expecting there to be like an opening around here somewhere. Oops. Are you alive? You are. Not anymore. Another spot I haven't been to. Oh, there's these one things. These would be dangerous. Mustaches of war. Oh, the 
one of those shadow assassin things. Oh, they spotted me? It got me. Ouch. Oh, yeah, see? That's the island, right? There's got to be a way to get over there. There's a whole house. <laughs> a whole building over there. Gravekeeper's cookbook. Or like, a, maybe a path that might lead to it? Looks like it leads directly to it. Wow. To be honest, I wasn't expecting to take all the electrical hits that much. I was like, what? Does this shoot like maybe three or four bolts of electricity? I was wrong. It shoots a lot. Hopefully that, oh, I think that shadow thing's going to appear again. That's annoying. Things aren't the toughest. Kind of just annoying. For some string. <laughs> ah. All right, that was a good fight. down here real quick, then we'll check out some more stuff over here. I don't think I've been over there yet either. Oh! Another area we can go down. Okay, uh, I guess we'll check over here first then. I don't think we can jump up quite easily, but we should be able to get back over here. Yeah. We just run over here. Oh, is that a set of grace? Alright, so we finally got a set of grace over on this side. The last time I've dropped into one of those little chasms, it, uh, 
led to a mini boss, which gave me ashes. It was nothing further this way. I mean, something's here. Okay. Oh, this one's pretty tough. No light shards. I guess that was it, because now my wolves went away. That one wasn't as tough. I missed this whole area. Where'd they come from? Oops, I mean to kill one of the weird worm thingies. Okay, there's some tougher ones here. Do this. Did I go fists? Queen Bariga. Oh, that's... Oh! Wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing. There we go. Star-lined sword. Okay, I want to take a look at that. Oh, it's taking care of the rest of them. There it is. Star-lined sword. It's a katana. Oh. Sword encrusted with the line of stars fashioned from from small pieces of crude glenstone, weapon of the demi-human swordsman. When bestowed with this weapon by their queen, the swordsmen swear to find the truth that lies in the end of the procession of stars. Hansa's line of stars. The skill named after demi-human swordmaster imbues sorcerous energy into the line glenstones and executes a flashing attack. Repeat inputs allow for up to two follow-up attacks, each dealing greater damage than the last. 
I'm gonna take a look at it. It's actually a really cool looking weapon. Where it's intelligence and dexterity. Where is my big old sword? Past it. There it is. A great knife. Okay. New dagger like weapon, I imagine. There it is, great knife. Large knife with a broad curved blade. This weapon is designed to slash and rend, inflicting blood loss upon the recipient. It looks very much like the standard kind of dagger you get uh, in Dark Souls. It very well could be based off that. The assassin's knife or the hunter's knife, something like that. Still some enemies left. I'm gonna fall through. I think you can get up here from here. Great grave blow warp. Lots of damage. It didn't look like that far of a fall. Are they just blowing up? Go by them. Didn't blow up. sword. Okay, another sword. Another weapon. Sharp blade sculpted into a twisted shape. A sword that has seen many years of use in the grave site. Said to serve as a medium for communion with spirits. Oh, more enemies. started from.
I guess that's all that was over there. I should have checked where I went, because that looks different. Weren't we by the ocean? went this way. Oh, I see something in there. It's like a cave. fragment. Okay, and this is where we were, we believe. Let's teleport back here. Well, maybe I shouldn't. We've defeated so many enemies. I don't think I want to respawn them all. Just hurry back on Torrent. We're gonna visit St. Trina, and that one NPC is gonna be dead. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, whoops. <laughs> Guess I should have warned him. Try to talk to St. Trina, you're gonna end up getting killed by her. to the castle. Lobster or crayfish. I think it's crayfish. Nice.
Is there a door down here? In. Oh, so there's an entrance. You don't have to jump down here. Maybe. Maybe it's at a high spot. Crabs, why? Well, it didn't lead us to the island. Oh, no, we're on the island. Whoops, I'm looking across. We were, okay, yeah, we started over there. We're end up over here. Oh, hold up, I didn't look on the other side of the cave. But there was another path. My guess is we're gonna have to fight another, like, NPC, some kind of character. We can't summon our wolves. That's where we fell in. Yeah, I didn't look do down here. Oh, they do blow up. Great, great blow work. Yeah, so it led up here. And I just jumped to that one, okay. So yeah, somewhere you couldn't really get too easily. Maybe you could have down there? No. A little too high up. Alright, back to the island. So, yeah, you just go into this chasm and it takes you to the island. Wheat. Almost enough for a level up. I saw the grab and got a little nervous. Ouch. So many crams. Yeah, it seems to be all that's over here. The other nameless mausoleum, yes. Yeah, the mausoleum where we fight the enemies. Oh, this could suck at 268,000. Oh boy. Don't know what we're gonna fight. Some of them are really tough. Some of them we've beaten and knocked down, no problem.
mean, I do damage. <laughs> she tried to go for a grab. And definitely enough to level now. Dancing Blade of Rana. Dancers hood, dress, bracers, trousers. Pretty, pretty easy to find. It's like a full red blade. Yeah. Need decks to wield it. Decorative swords ablaze with a passionate, impassioned red. A pair of weapons made to be wielded in both hands. Used by the dancers of Rana. Breaks enemies with a dancing assault when executing a strong attack. Bright red hood of the Rana dancers. Enhances the power of dancing attacks. The dance of Rana is one of burning passion, and the most passionate dancers never allow their fiery dance to end. Losing even their names as they dance on. To see the passion fade is to see the dancer's flame extinguished. It is a nice red. I said the same thing. Metal Races run a dance with enhanced power of dancing attacks. Designed to protect the sword wielding hand. Long black trousers worn underneath the bright red dress of the Rana dancers. Not exactly my cup of tea. I feel like the dancing attacks have a lot more, like, movement rather than hits. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're not bad, but they're just not my cup of tea. And I like tea. I feel like there's anything else up here. Just another path to get up here. Okay, let's go visit St. Trina. Oh, there isn't a side of grace over here? Hold up, before I take off. I find it strange there's no side of grace over here. Take one more look real quick. I mean, I know it's a small island, but I find it weird. I guess not. This weird bird. Light pinion. I kind of thought maybe it'd give me something special. Okay. Uh, St. Trina? Yeah, St. Trina. I wouldn't have seen Centrina again. I'm drifting off in the sea of her poison. Soon I will hear her voice. Let me be. I won't be long. Oh, I almost forgot. You mustn't follow my example. Centrina's poison would plunge you into an eternal slumber. It must be me. Uh oh. Only Too late. Me. <laughs> Pass on the words. Oh, thank you not to lie to me. I am the chosen. 
Master, not you. Only I can doze off in the sea of Centrina. Why would you hear her voice when I cannot? Let's keep doing it over and over again. If you utter these cruel untruths to me again, I, I won't be held responsible for my actions. You see the sword I'm carrying. Should I pass it on again? Please. Enough. I cannot believe your cheek. And I will stand for it no longer. I will never forgive you. Here, I'll show you. Watch. Let me show you how it's done. You need skill to do this. Oh, it did fade away slowly, which means she probably will say something. I want my stuff. Why are you invading me? Why are you so angry? I wasn't expecting him to attack me, but I guess it makes sense. Uh, you, I was no good to anyone. Beginning to end, weak as a kitten, and thick as two planks. I suppose dying in disgrace is fitting, in a way. Please, assuming you spoke the truth back then, what did Satrina tell you? Here you go, pass on the words. You are a wretched, wretched soul. A nightmare. Could you you ask! Such a thing could possibly be, could it? Satrina, please let me hear your voice. In my everlasting slumber. Centrina. In my ever. I do it again? Why not? Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, I gotta check out the St. Trina's head I got. Once again, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> oh, faded away slowly. Okay, yeah, yeah, get it. Kill Mikola. I didn't get invaded again, but I guess maybe he's dead now. Huh. Not dead, but I guess dying. He'll come back here another time. I think that's... It, it, oh yeah, I did say I was gonna try to, uh, fight one of the yellow things with parry. Scripping kite shield works for me. We're only using the shield so that we can actually, uh, 
carry. We can level up at the forest. Apparently, you can parry them. Uh, it makes me nervous to try and just fight these things, considering pretty much failed to do so. Oh yeah, St. Trina's Head, gotta check that out too. Okay, level up first. Probably gonna end up dying. Over 2,000 health. Favorite place in this in this DLC. Nice creepy woods. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, cool. Alright, let's give this a shot. I tried, but I rolled. Oh, I'm still alive. Oh, never mind. Well, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how we're supposed to uh, parry that. I think I have a better, maybe a better parry shield. Ones that are more designed for parry, like the round ones. There we go, iron round shield. That says no skill. Oh, this one has it, though. I'd love to get my runes back, but I highly doubt I'm going to be able to. Yep, here we go. Goes my runes. I think I did it too soon. I don't know. It doesn't look like you could parry it. But I'm willing to give it a few tries. definitely tried it and it didn't work. Maybe slightly too late? I don't know. Oh, here. Let's look at St. Trina's head real quick. It was a talisman. Did I pass it somewhere? Maybe I'm blind. I don't see St. Trina's head. Maybe it wasn't a talisman. I thought it was, though. Oh, there it is. St. Trina's smile. Sleep in the vicinity increases attack. Sleep in the vicinity increases attack power. The talisman depicting a smile, St. Trina, a vision conjured deep within a certain man's heart. Raise attack power when sleep is triggered in the vicinity. Only I am allowed to know of your velvety sleep. Sweetly gentle embrace, so please smile for me and only me. Like it matters. Won't kill you either way. Okay, let's try this again. Ah, 
Yeah, see, I did it, but it didn't give it to me. I'll try doing it a little bit earlier. So far, uh, yeah, it's not giving it to me. Yeah, see? What? I don't think it's possible. Bad uh, about rolling too soon. Oh, I was still alive. Ah, did it. But yet, yeah, who did it to me? Another try. Doesn't hurt to keep trying. Yeah. The only problem is I can't tell if I do it too late because I don't actually see my character swing, but I do press it. Maybe I got something that can help me parry better. I don't like I'm using this. Great shield. I don't think I have anything that actually helps me parry anything. Try that. I don't think I'll ever really use this talisman, but who knows, maybe it's better. Yeah, I just, I'm not successful fighting these things, if you can parry them.
Okay, I did it, but yeah, it doesn't give it to me. Hold up, let me see if it's even possible. Okay, so it does say it is possible. It says you can parry them. I'm just really bad at it. Maybe there's a better shield for parrying? Unity boosting shield. Specific. I could do the immunity boosting shield at least. go! Full and great. I did it. <laughs> okay, maybe the shield was just better at parrying than the other one. Gets rid of them permanently? Okay. Is there anything, like, is there any reason to actually kill them other than to get rid of them per permanently? I yeah, didn't summon anything else now. Okay, okay, well, at least we know we can do it. Is there another one? Gotta parry it. Okay. Okay, I can actually take it out. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, I'm alive. Never mind. Nice. Rolling grapes. Is that all they give you? I have to admit though, it is very nice to just be able to take them out. And this has so far been a way better shield than the last one I was using. I've successfully been parrying them. Wow, they're really not scary if you can inst inst if you just kill them. There's that set of grace. I think there was one near the beginning.
I don't remember how many there were. I don't remember there being a lot, though. And they don't give you a lot of runes. I think that it was over here. Giant rat. Oh, they should attack me now. I don't have my torch out. This isn't the, the spot. That's like going, yeah, towards here. Church ruins. No, it should be over here. You can see the signs on the floor. On the ground. There it is. take this one out and then I think that'll be it for that. Can I run up and grab these? I can. There he goes, boss. It doesn't look like he's going to teleport yet. Nicely done. No! Okay, I gotta try it again. The madness took me. Alright. Oh! Age 1's Exultation. Yeah, well, I don't see any other one, so maybe you get that for defeating them all? I don't remember the, if there's any more left. Age 1's Exaltation. A talisman depicting the exaltation of an aging untouchable whose head resembles a sprig of ripe grapes. Raise his attack power when madness is triggered in the vicinity. Gift your madness to our lord. Bless our brethren with grapes. Take care that they fully ripen. Seems like that would have been very useful against the boss. Okay. I think that's it. I don't. If I miss something, I guess I miss it. I don't know anything else to really explore. So with that, I guess we're gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, move on to a near Elim. But I guess I can always continue the DLC. So if I miss anything, feel free to let me know and be like, hey, uh, 
Go check out that area. Or hey, go look at this place. You don't have to tell me straight up what it is. Mostly, try to figure it out. Just point me in the right direction. And then I can go visit those locations. But anyhow, that's going to do it for this video. We managed to talk to an NPC, fight a dancer, take out some of the untouchables, which turns out they are quite touchable. They're not untouchable. But yeah, let's go ahead and equip my turtle shield back. Only equip that so we can have parry. And uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and hopefully the next one will be probably the last of the DLC to finish this tower up. Anyhow, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.